Hi friends, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. In this tutorial, I am going to solve another problem related to truss restructure in ANSYS Mechanical APDL 16.0. Before starting this tutorial, I want to say that if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe button and don't forget to share with your friends and family and also leave your comments and suggestions in the comment section. So this is the given truss problem. Mm, here BC, DE and FG length are not given we find it by using trigonometry ratio tan theta so by using tan 30 we can find the bc length and uh, de length and fg length fg and bc are same so let's test it out you can clearly observe here point a is rolling supported and point h is fixed support so let's start our problem go to main mechanical apdl 16.0 version click on preferences click on structural then click ok now click on preposter then click on element type then click on add edit delete now click on add select link and 3d ftn stn 180 now click ok close this minimize this go to real constant click on add edit delete click on add now click ok and give the cross section area as 400 mm square now click ok and close this go to material properties click on material models then click on the structural then click on linear click on elastic click on isotropic and give the angst modulus as 2e5 and Poisson free ratio at 0.33 for stainless steel now click ok now close this minimize this go to modeling click on its create then click on nodes then click on inactive coordinate system now if all boxes are empty if you click code apply then it will automatically take the origin so we are considering point a as origin with respect to point a we are going to draw all the coordinates in the uh, coordinate system so we have already draw origin now we have to draw c point that is 3000 mm in x and y at 0 now click apply and then we are going to draw b so b is 3000 in x and in y 1732 mm then click apply now e for e there is 6000 mm in x and in y it is 0 now click apply and then d for the 6000 in x and 3464 in y now click apply and then g for g 9000 mm in x and y is 0 then click apply now f point 9000 in x and 1732 in y now click apply now for f there is uh, 12,000 in X and in Y it is 0. Now click OK. So thus we have got our all 8 points. Now we are going to join this nodes by elements. So minimize this and go to element and click on auto number then click on through nodes. Now click here and here and then click apply. Then click here and here and click on apply. And uh, then select 4 and 6 then click apply then click 6 and 8 then click apply then select 8 and 7 then click apply select 7 and 5 click apply select 5 and 3 click apply and uh, 3 and 1 then click apply so if you see here that is uh, here C B E F G is also joined so we are going to join this click here and here click apply then select this and this and click apply then select this and this and click apply then select this and this then click apply now select this and this and then click ok so we have joined all the required nodes with the element now we have to apply the loads so point uh, a is rolling support and point h is fixed support and the uh, 2.7 newton is kilonewton is at c point and at e point 4.5 kilonewton and at g node there is 1.8 kilonewton so go here and click on load then click on define load then click on apply then click on structural then click on displacement then click on nodes and select this point and click apply and select ui for rolling support now click ok and select this point and then click apply and then select all degree of freedom for fixed support and now click ok so we have applied that uh, fixed support only support now we have to apply the force so click on force moment then click on nodes now select this point and click apply 
and select here it fy and give the value at uh, minus 2.7 that is 2700 newton okay now 4500 newton is at this point so give the minus 4500 newton now click apply and uh, select point 0.6 and then click apply and give the value error minus 1800 kilo 1800 kilo uh, newton now click ok thus we apply the force now minimize this go to solution click on solve sorry then click on solve then click on current ls then click ok click on current ls then click ok now solution is done now close this and close this window and now minimize this and go to joint post procedure to see the various results so click on plot result then click on deform shape now select deform plus and deform now click ok so this is the deformation under the load applied on the structure now click uh, plot control and then click animate and then click deform shape and then click on plot and deform then click ok to see the animation of deformation under the given load now close this and go to counter plot and click on order solution then go to dof then go to displacement vector sum now click ok so this is the displacement vector sum diagram you can clearly observe here the maximum force maximum displacement is here and the minimum displacement is at this point now click at nodal solution again and click on the stress and bring down the arrow and then select one minus stress and then click ok so this is the one minus stress distribution diagram and if you want to see the actual value then go to list result click on nodal solution then click on df solution then click on displacement vector sum then click ok so this is the node number and the corresponding ux uy uz and ultimate or maximum value of displacement are given in this window so if you want to see the nodal solution then the reaction solution then click on reaction solution and then click ok so this is the point node number and the corresponding fx fy and fz value are given here and if you want to see the nodal load then again click on nodal load then click ok and then you can see here the node number and the corresponding fx fy and fz value are given here so similarly you can see the result of the various parameters under the general post procedure thank you for watching please like share subscribe my channel and also have a nice day bye bye